I found this old gem on my computer, something I created years ago. I thought I would dust it off and show you this classic Gorn ship design. This is another forgotten starship from the FASA RPG Trek universe, and is actually one of the first ever Gorn ship designs to be fleshed out, the Gorn MA-12 light cruiser. Now since there's not a lot of information on this ship, and it's from a universe that is mostly not canon, I have a Gorn captain here, Captain Slar, to help me fill in some information. How are you today, Captain Slar? It's right. right, well we'll get right into it. So Captain, this ship is only about 115 meters long, that's pretty small for a cruiser, especially compared to those from the Federation and Klingon fleets. Size is not so important as long as the power and endurance of the ship is sufficient. Gorn ships are built solid and strong. There are no weak points like the warp nacelle pylons on Federation ships. Yes, I see that. Gorn ships are known for toughness. Yes, Gorn armor and structural technology is far beyond other empires. There are also bulkheads and compartments so that if the hull is severely damaged, we can continue operating. You can also see the ablative armor plating on this ship. Right. Um, now don't take offense, but don't you guys ever repaint your ships? Why is the hull so scratched up? <laughs> Board ships have character. We leave the scars as marks of honor. We also test the ship's structural integrity by flying them into dust clouds and debris fields as soon as they leave the shipyard. Ah, I see. One thing I also noticed is that the warp nacelles are really close to the hull. Most other warp-capable civilizations don't do this because of all the radiation that comes out of the nacelles. So how is this safe for your crew? <laughs> Not only is our radiation shielding superior, we go on a what you call radiation resistant, like most species on our home world. Only extreme radiation can harm us. Right, that's great. But uh, talking about the engines, I see this ship doesn't really manage much more than Warp 7. <sighs> It is true our warp drive tech is not as advanced as the Federation, Romulans, and Klingons, but we use other advantages. Mm-hmm. Well, let's talk about that a little bit. These weapons are what you call blasters, right? Yes. They are strong plasma-based energy weapons. They do not have their range of phasers. But and you do have photon torpedoes. Almost star Gorn ships are armed with torpedoes. These are also not as accurate as Federation or clean on weapons. But we know how to use them. So is there a standard configuration for these ships? Each one seems kind of different. True. Different clans may fit these ships in different ways. The hulls of these ships are mass-produced in a standard way, but the weapons depend greatly on the particular clan's resources and intended roles for each ship. Well again, don't be offended, but I'm not really sure what advantages these light cruisers have over their counterparts. Your weapons are inaccurate, and your maneuverability and warp speed is inferior. Don't underestimate us, you human fool. Gorn captains are cunning. Our ships emit little heat or energy. We do not have cloaking devices, but we are good at using the space environment to conceal ourselves and ambush our prey. And then it matters little once we have you at close range. We can outfight you. The Romulans sometimes believe they can ambush us with an alpha strike and eliminate us before we can respond. As you can see, they are wrong. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I appreciate this interview, Captain Slar. It's been enlightening. 
Do you have anything to add? Yes. You will visit patreon.com slash resurrected to support the channel. Even one dollar will help contribute to the construction of new starships. If you are unable to, like and share and comment. Subscribe to Resurrected Starships. Uh, thanks for the plug, Slar. Are you okay? You've been salivating since the interview began. I am hungry. Let's get Earth Cuisine. Pizza.